quickly, there are some skin conditions in IBD which are direct, directly associated with IBD, and these are sorry, not very pleasant pictures, but the one on the left is erythema nodosum, where people get these sore lumps or under the skin, usually in the lower legs. And this skin finding often comes and goes with the activity of the Crohn's or colitis itself. So if the Crohn's get better, this goes away. If it flares up, these come back. On the right is another skin problem called pyroderma gangrenosum. Not a very pleasant picture, but this is something that can come and go even when the IBD is well controlled and it can be very uh, problematic. And as on the right, there's someone with a stoma who's had a, an area of pyoderma right next to the uh, stoma, which has developed, and that, that can happen as well. Generally, we involve a dermatologist with this condition because this, uh, this needs very uh, uh, careful assessment and careful treatment, and we really need our dermatology colleagues uh, involved. So this is someone asking, if they started biologic therapy six months ago, they're getting some rashes and hives that are itchy. Could this be a side effect of medication? Um, it's possible. I mean, people with uh, any biologic therapy can have sort of allergic reactions to that therapy that could present with things like itching and hives. And I think we have to see if it's happening repeatedly after each dose of the biologic and whether the timing seems to make sense uh, but it is possible that, that is a, a, a side effect of therapy. But there are other skin problems that can actually come from anti-TNF therapy. You know, anti-TNF therapy, we're talking about things like Remicade, Humira, uh, Symphony. Interesting, it's been recognized that about 5 or 10% of people on these therapies will develop rashes that look a little bit like eczema or psoriasis. And that's really odd because we use these drugs to treat psoriasis but there are people who've never had psoriasis before, start these medications and then develop little skin uh, changes that look like psoriasis. It's a, it's a nuisance problem. It's pretty rare for someone to have to stop the medication because of this. And in general, uh, they can get uh, creams and things to put on their skin rash that, that make it settle down and they can continue on the medication. But this is a particular skin rash which may actually be caused by uh, IBD medication it's the anti-TNF ones like Remicade, Humira, and Symphony.